Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this lead generation tutorial, we're gonna be going through how to put together a contact form for your site. You know, as a business owner, freelancer, or entrepreneur and influencer, sometimes people just wanna reach out to you directly and not go through your automated email sequences. And that's where contact forms come in. And in fact, speaking from personal experience, some of our best clients and collaborators have come from a contact form and not from an automated email sequence. So you don't always have to have this super complex lead generation process. Sometimes a contact form is all you need to do business. So we're gonna go ahead, jump into my screen, and we'll be using today's sponsor, Happy Forms, to put together a contact form for our site. Now the first step to setting up your contact form is of course deciding what information you want to collect. Now as we go through this tutorial, just remember the more information you ask for, the less likely people are to complete the form. So if you really want people to contact you, less is better. If you have too many people contacting you, then add additional fields, make it harder for people to get to your inbox. So, so just keep that in mind as we go through this. So what you'll do is once you've installed the plugin, you can check out the link in the description. You'll be taken to happyforms.me. You'll scroll all the way to the bottom, click download, you'll get your zip file. Then you can come over to your WordPress site and you'll be able to click on plugins, add new, and then you can just click upload and you'll be able to add happy forms to your site. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one that I just put together. So that way you're not gonna watch me click and drag things around. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different options and it can actually be a little overwhelming. So what I suggest is deciding what information you need to collect and then use this tool to figure out how best to ask for this information. For example, when it came to what are you looking for, I came up with just four categories of requests that are most common to you know the contact forms that I've had in the past. And that way I used a drop down menu. Of course, I could have just as easily done a multiple choice or I could do a single choice. I'll show you what these look like and how they differ in a second. You definitely wanna keep in mind aesthetics, but if you're not quite sure what type of information to ask for, I have three sources for you that will help you decide what questions you should ask. So if you're an agency, just go over to vaynermedia.com. This is Gary Vaynerchuk's agency and when you click, click on become click when you click on become a client this is what their contact form looks like it was very helpful to me in figuring out what types of questions I should be asking on my contact form if you're more of an influencer or want to be a coach or consultant then Pat Flynn's contact form which takes a while to get to is a great kind of way to jumpstart what types of questions or pieces of information you want to collect. Here he has quite a laundry list, but then again, he does get a lot of emails. So he wants to increase the barrier to entry of people contacting him. And then once you click, you can enter in all of these questions. You'll notice all these questions are required because he really only wants to hear from people who are willing to put in the work of answering these questions. And finally, Gary Vaynerchuk's actual site, you can see here, this is a great example of a real basic contact form, just name, email, drop down menu of the types of actions he wants people to be taking, and then your message. So you, as you can see, all of the three of these are pretty similar. So that's how I came up with the de design of my contact form. So we'll go back in here and now we'll start diving into the actual bells and whistles of happy forms. So first off, we have short text. So short text is what you're pretty much gonna use for things like name, email, etc. And I recommend unless you absolutely need someone's phone number for some reason, just keep it at name and email. I found that once I have a couple messages with a potential client or student, asking for the phone to actually jump on a call once they've been pre-qualified is a very, very easy thing to do later on down the process. So let's say I don't have the name field on and I want to create a name field. So all we have to do is click on which one we want. It's not click and drag yet. So we'll go ahead and click on it and then we can drag it up and down. And if I bring it to the top, you'll see now it's at the very top. So let's just say this is company name and we can choose to have the label in different places. So let's say you want it inside. This is something that I might experiment with in the future, especially if you want to save space. And to save time, you can click to apply all parts, and now you see everything changed. Now it's all inside, which I guess we'll leave it there. I kind of like it. And then when we click down to advanced, these are things that are going to be just to this company name field. So we can come in here and change the width, let's see if we change it to auto, sometimes it changes auto, and then we can go to a third, 
or a half or a full. So I'm going to put it at auto and then we can so you can see how tight form design has gotten. So you definitely want to keep that in mind on what screen size you think people are going to be filling this format on. I'm just going to leave it full and I'm going to pull it up. So now let's go to the drop down menu. Let's have some fun. So what I really like about Happy Forms is the ease of use when it comes to the types of fields you can create. So for this particular instance, this is a drop down field and these are the different types of inquiries that I want people to be essentially making on the form. So if I have a new option, say other number two, I'm gonna go ahead and add that option. And then I can come over here to what are you looking for? And now we'll have option number, oh, looks like it hasn't loaded yet. Let's click save form. And now it shows other number two. So let's go ahead and all you have to do is you can click add an option. You can have your drop down menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like if we were to do a single choice. So maybe I don't want a drop down menu. Maybe we're just gonna do the single choice. It's so hard to remember this isn't click and drag. So we'll go in here and we'll say, what do you want? And then we'll go ahead and add some options. So we'll say OP number one, and then we'll say OP number two and OP number three. And you can see our options here showing up at the bottom and users can click which one is relevant to them at the bottom. And of course they can only select one. And what do you want? So you'll notice here that the title isn't showing up and this isn't showing up. So it's not exactly real time, but I think it's real time enough where it's very helpful. You can always click save form or just refresh the page. And I find that these things show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. But as you can see here, there are a lot of different options. I won't spend all of our time going through these now, but there are two that stood out to me. Number one was the text editor, where you could have this text box where people could actually add formatting. I found that really, really nice and helpful, especially when I'm filling out contact forms or if you want people to be detailed in their responses. I think that is a great feature that I haven't seen in other free contact forms, especially if you're using Google Forms right now, which is what I'm switching from. And then the rating feature, which I have no idea what I would personally use it for, but I just like the idea of being able to ask like, how is the content? And then having people have the ability to give it a certain number of stars, which of course, now that I'm recording this, it's not showing up properly, but we can go over to our preview here and I'm gonna refresh the page and you can see how our form has changed. So that's a little bug there. We we'll probably need to fix that. That is something that I noticed. Also, if you have a drop down menu, this drop down menu should needs to be placed far away from this element because as you can see in this b-roll from another time i was editing when you do the drop down menu for some reason the rich text blocks it but it's just a bug that uh, i've reached out to them for and hopefully they're able to fix that soon so really that is all you need to know about adding elements to your form and of course finally you can click this little box here whether or not it's required so i'm going to go ahead and delete all of these new ones that i did just for this tutorial and now we're back to our basic form asking for their company name their name email and what they're looking for actually i don't really care about their company name so we'll just leave it at this and we'll go ahead and to the next part of the setup where we get to put together our confirmation messages. So this will have something where it will pop up and say, yay, it's been submitted correctly. And you probably do wanna leave receive submission alerts on, and you can actually customize the email that Happy Form sends out to people who've filled out the form. Now, if you're doing any sort of conversion tracking, I highly recommend coming down to the bottom here and having a confirmation page because creating a confirmation page is going to allow you to easily put together your conversion tracking, whether you're doing Facebook, Google, or you're just tracking events in inside of Google Analytics. If you wanna be tracking events based upon someone clicking submit or this success form showing up, it's going to be a real headache to set up. So if you wanna do any sort of tracking, just create a quick thank you page instead of having that success message pop up. So finally, we can go over to style and this is where you get to change how the form looks. Now, I'm just gonna briefly go over what's actually important. And then of course, you can really just change all of the colors and the size of the fonts. But one of the things I've done is I've actually gone into form title and hidden it. So you can click show, you see it says contact us version one. So make sure whatever you name your form, you're okay with it showing. 
I'm not because I'm going to have multiple forms. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it and I'll use my page builder for the title of the form. And we can come into borders and spacing. We can quickly change how the borders look. So we can go from square to rounded to pill and change the padding relatively quickly. So I'll let you play with this. I typically, I found that their defaults are just fine. And again, this is a contact form. So really what you're asking for, what we did in the first step is the most important part. And you can customize the colors of this drop down menu. So if you really want to get fancy, like let's say I wanted this to be blue, I could come in here, select color, click on blue, and now it's blue. That's super hard to read. So I'd better change the text to, I don't know, white or something, but let's not do that because that's just hard to read. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then you can customize the submit button as well. And we'll go ahead and click save and close. And I'm going to come back here. And as you can see, these are all the extra elements we added. So I'll refresh the page and we're back to our great, clean, simple looking contact form. I'm using Thrive Themes right now. So that's where this title is coming from. Now, when it comes to actually implementing it onto your site, it's relatively easy. So we've clicked save and we're back in happy forms, all forms, and it gives us this little short code. So we can click copy short code and we can go to the page that we want to add the short code to. In this particular instance, I'm using Thrive, which is a great page builder and I've used a custom HTML element. So whatever kind of page builder you're using, or if you're just doing HTML inside of the normal WordPress editor, all you have to do is paste in your form shortcode and it will show up on your page. So I'll show you how this works relatively quickly and easily. So I'm gonna click and drag my custom element here and then it's gonna ask me what's my HTML code. Here's the short code for the happy form. I'll click save and now if we go back to the site, I'll refresh, you'll see I have form number one and now I have form number two that I just added and that's how easy it is to use happy forms to create awesome looking contact forms for your site. And make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you got some value out of this video. Over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to put together a successful sales funnel and digital business. And of course, figuring out which software to use is just one small piece of the bigger picture of being successful with your digital marketing. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. And until the next video, keep building the business you love.